And we are finally off to our own snow covered start this winter. Zach Fisher joins us now. A lot of accidents this weekend because of slick conditions, just a lot of snow, wind, poor visibility, you name it. Right, you're exactly right, Darren. It's a tough time for drivers around the area. We got some stats here too. Let's take a look at uh, Urbandale, six non-reportable crashes. This is just a day span, six reportable crashes. So 12 crashes just yesterday too. And here in uh, West Des Moines, 45 accidents through this span too. 33 non-injury related, nine injury related, and three that were just not known. And I spent the day talking to truckers about how roads were this weekend and car shops to see if customers have already started calling. Uh, the roads were just, just nasty. It was a slick start to 2022 for truck drivers making their way through the area on their way to their destination. One driver got caught in the winter storms in the Midwest. And it just kind of snuck up on me. I ended up driving through it for a couple hours. Another trucker who's been on the road for years gives advice for those who brave the winter storms on the road. Slow down, increase your following space. Uh, if you are not comfortable, park the truck. Accidents were frequent this past weekend in the metro, leading to car shops having to help tow some vehicles. One shop in particular towed four cars alone. This location just had one tow in and we had three at our Altoona location that came in. Um, ended up kind of intertwined on the guardrail where it shreds it up pretty good and makes it a non-driver, but everybody was safe from that end. Ted's Body Shop is preparing for an influx of customers coming through later this week to fix minor damage to their vehicles. And as a reminder for drivers out in future winter storms, the Windsor Heights Police Chief says to be mindful. Uh, people need to pay attention to their driving, slow down, have some patience, don't be playing on their phone. And the Windsor Heights Police Department only helped with two crashes related to the snow events of the weekend, so that's good news there, Aaron. Definitely. Thanks, Zach.